This is the Hot Wheels Mustang Stalker, the chrome version, which uh, is obviously well played with, and you can see all the little chips and dings in the chrome. Someone had a lot of fun with this car. I would have liked to have just done a regular restoration, uh, changing the color. I, I wouldn't want it to be chrome. I had an idea what color I wanted to paint this, but otherwise I was kind of looking at just a restoration, but I'll explain why it changed a little bit as we go along. I really like the style of this car. It has a, I've always liked Mustangs, and so this has a real good look to it. So I go through the usual process. Uh, I had to use a tap to make the mark so I can drill out uh, the posts. So, drilled it out, tapped it in the usual way. Um, you've seen this before, so I, I won't take you through all of it. <laughs> but uh, on this one, I, I didn't tap it. I used the self-tapping screws because, again, the posts are kind of small on this, and the self-tapping screws work pretty well. So I get it, uh, you know, free from the base and uh, get it apart. You can tell it, it's a little dirty in there. It, it came with uh, some lint, some dirt, but everything's in pretty good shape. I, I can't complain about it. The inside is in great shape. Uh, the glass is surprisingly was in really good shape. So it, it just needed to be washed up. So I stripped it, hit it with the wire wheel, hit it with the Scotch-Brite pad, didn't do too much work to the body because, again, I was kind of just thinking that I was going to restoration. Hit it with the Army Painter White Primer, which I just love that stuff. It works great. Now, you've seen me use the Lime Ice a million times. This is uh, her cute sister, Icy Blue. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't want to see green again from me. And I love this blue. It's just fantastic. So, uh, polished up the base. Didn't do any details on it because, again, there weren't any details on it in the original version. Really happy with the blue. But uh, one problem with trying to do the restoration is I didn't have any red line wheels to put on it. But I did find these uh, real riders that I thought would look really good on this car. So that's why this ends up being a resto mod is I end up changing the color and changing the wheels but otherwise it's pretty much a straight restoration. That really needed to be washed <laughs> in the interior. Otherwise it was great. Uh, a little soapy, you know, hot soapy water, cleaned it right up. Uh, same for the glass, I washed the glass and then dipped it in the uh, wonder of all wonders gauzy. That stuff works fantastic. So just drained it off a little bit there and uh, then I throw one of those crayon boxes over it to keep any lint or anything from falling on it while it's drying off. But it, this stuff, if the glass is clean, it just makes it look fantastic. It's just so shiny. Love that stuff. So uh, just set that down here eventually. <laughs> it's nice when you have something you can grab with the tweezers on the glass when there's actually a piece that you can dunk it with and, and can hang on to it. Too many times there's barely anything to hang on to. So uh, here eventually I will get that set down on the paper towel and I cover it with that crayon box. So that, you know, there wasn't a lot to this. Uh, so there you see the pieces all looking nice and shiny. I used the, the matching gloss, um, I think it's called wet look gloss or something like that, the Tester's Extreme Lacquer. That's uh, the same as the Icy Blue. Loved how those wheels looked. Basically, I pulled off the uh, red lines, and then these just dropped in there, and I used uh, CA glue and a little baking soda to hold those in place. The glass snaps onto the interior, and then that drops in. And then stupidly here, as I go to put it together, I kind of pop it back out because I put my finger through the back glass. <laughs> So it's like, oh, oops, let me, re let me redo this here. Yeah, so yeah, just a little slip up. Then I press that back in and it, it fits really well. 
get that base on. As you can see, I shined it up. It cleaned up really well. The glass was blue on this, which seems to go really well with the blue paint. It, it doesn't detract from it. But this was a, a quick, fun build. And to be honest, I'm thrilled with the results. The shine on this car, the using that icy blue and then the matching clear paint. I guess it's really critical a lot of times to have the same type of paint and clear. Uh, at some point, I'll start airbrushing and use an automotive clear. Guys seem to have a lot of success with that. But I'm really happy with how that turned out. And the wheels, I think the wheels look great. They actually have a yellow stripe on them, but I just spun them around so that the yellow stripe is on the inside and all you see is the black wall on the outside. So there's where we started. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't in terrible shape. You know, it was obviously well played with, but uh, nothing I can really complain about. You know, it wasn't bent or <laughs> in some weird way destroyed. But that icy blue paint I don't know, it gives that lime ice a run for its money. So I'm pretty happy with the results here. So you'll see another angle on it here in a second, and then I did take some stills, some uh, glamour shots. Those will be coming up. But uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching these videos. Hopefully you like this one as much as I do. I'm, I'm really happy with the results here. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button and watch for the next video. And uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. Um, I, I can't explain how much I appreciate that you actually want to see these videos and uh, are watching me learn how to do these things. That looks really good. I have to, <laughs> I have to admit, I really like how this one turned out. And it wasn't like a chop it up, you know, JB weld it together, anything like that. Heck, it, it went together pretty well. And, and uh, yeah, I can't complain about the paint. The paint has a lot of metal flake in it. It looks beautiful. So thank you all for watching this, these videos of mine. And uh, hope you enjoy this one. And y'all take care. See you in the next one.